tell you what, it's a good job Fred Dibner here had a change of clothes in the car. What I don't understand is how I've got here before. James, you left before me. Where are we anyway? It's the Astley Green Mining Museum. You see, this area, Lancashire, was well known in the olden days for its mining. There used to be hundreds of mines, if not more, all throughout this region. This is the only surviving, the mining terminology being, headgear in the whole of Lancashire. There he is, just spotted him pulling up now. Come on, let's go and see what he has to say for himself. How on earth did I beat him here? Yeah, Fred Dibner here. So here we are guys, a bit of history today. Lancashire Mining Museum. What is it, outdoors, indoors? Maybe mixed with Most of it's outdoors, but then you can go in this old, um, I don't know what you'd call it, I was going to say pump house, but I've been coming here for years. They didn't have any of this visitor centre in the middle back then. They didn't have any of these machines. Hello. What do we have to do? Do we need to sign in or anything? I don't know if we've got much of that. <laughs> That's all you need to do. I've we've got, um, I've been a million times, oh, me. Really we're just thinking it. if we're going in the... Yeah, well, they're running it. Bless. The lass said run up here, because they've got the engine running. She said if you see it, you'll fall in love with it. Absolutely stunning industrial architecture, that. Don't see many of them around anymore. Machinery <laughs> Chap there, he's got his pint. How are we doing, guys? Yeah, Impressive, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen it up and running. What would this have done originally? Would that have lowered the uh, mine shaft yeah. down where the headgear is? Look at that, it closed in 1970. It says, Here you go, mate, have a look at your map. James was just wondering where the Chap Moss line went. Ashley yeah. Green Colliery is here. Is this this would be the line That'll here? Be the line, just south yeah. of us. It's about a mile. It's this would be the mile. Bridgewater Canal. Ah, yeah, yeah. But look at that. Look at these big chimneys at the back. They're long gone. The size of these spanners. Hey. <laughs> One big spanner, two big spanners, <laughs> and a couple of more big spanners here. Oh my God! You find those just the toilets old, at the old tiles. <laughs> Here's a miner. What's this chap doing? <laughs> the man said we can go up into the control tower and get a few pickies. <laughs> Are we doing gents? <laughs> it's nice to see it all up and running again. Fantastic. How deep would an actual mine shaft be? Would it be like a mile or a few miles deep? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. 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 So what do they do? You've got a break with one for go and one for stop. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely fascinating this place. The man was telling me that as it spins, you'd have one rope at the top and one at the bottom, so they'd be dropping one mine shaft cart down and the other coming up. You've got the piston here, the crank here, just like being in the belly of the Titanic, this, isn't it? And then, if you have a little look out of the window up at the top, you can see the headgear. Got all the oil here as well, needed to keep it greased. Tell you what, today's been a buy one, get one free. We've been on two fabulous adventures between us going down the river and then us here now, seeing this beautiful place. There we go, what's this? This tells you how deep it went. 800 meters below ground, the deepest one. Five Blackpool Towers deep. This is pretty much exactly the foam we had at home growing up. Kids, do you know how to use it? Hello? Hello, was that the 1980s? I say I really enjoyed that. Hopefully we've inspired you, motivated you, engaged you. Size of this wheel.
first time I ever came here, when I lived in Leeds and I always drive down the East Lanks Road, I'd have noticed this big tower from the road and go, where is it? So one day I just came down here and... That looks like Northern Rail's new fleet. Oh, someone's having a fire at the back there, do they know? Oh, yeah. Northern Rail's new fleet, a <laughs> naughty boy. <laughs> Stop, look and listen. They've proper done this track up though, I'll tell you. If it was Diana Ross, it'd be stopped in the name of train. <laughs> before you get run over. Oh, hello, here's the platform. It's much cleaner than any Northern Rail station. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. And the service is about as frequent as well. Fantastic place, yeah? So, that is really well done, actually. I've not been here since they put this in. Would we get towed off if we jumped on the train tracks? Woo, woo! I don't think you get a TGV down here. It wouldn't be a, un, un train à grande vitesse, it'd be a train à petite vitesse. <laughs> a TPV. I feel naughty walking on the train tracks. I feel like someone's going to come and slap my wrists. <laughs> I feel like Marty McFly in Back to the Future 3. <laughs> Ashley Green Pit and Steam Traction Weekend. Oh, there we are. This is exactly where we're standing. Two years ago, it would have been the weekend, cause it was, especially because of leap year. So, oh, here we are. Mate, steam traction weekend. We'll be here. It looks fun. Let's go and try and get up here. Mate, that's just fantastic. I love it. Absolutely love it. Here we go. The lady just told us to have common sense, but it's me and you. And this is the thing that the miners used to go in for being lowered down. And there's some miners' boots and some mine carts. Imagine yourself and 20 sweaty other miners in here getting lowered 800 meters below the ground by this thing. Mental. Could do with some new boots actually. <laughs> e by gum, brilliant. Ain't Ashley Green Colliery brilliant? Did you ever read the book called Germinal by Emile Zola? I've read Germinal many years ago. Well, maybe not all of it. Yeah. Always made me think of this. It's uh, basically a story of a mine um, and all the workers rebel about the working conditions and in the end the mine just gets imploded by some bloke who does something naughty. But, uh, yeah. That's they never had all these old machines though, eh, when I come here years ago. Hello. I love it. The last there, uh, Marilyn. Fantastic. She's been telling us all sorts of stories. For example, these five roses commemorate five miners who died in an accident in 1939. Yeah. Fred Dibner's headgear that he built in his own garden is over here. He oh. built that in his garden and he got seven foot deep before the council found out. And then what did you say about this train with a crane on it? It came from crew. And it's, it's the last home power. Existing <laughs> one. <laughs> I think it had to be dragged here or something. Does you call it a hydraulic crane? I don't know. Steam-powered crane. Steam-powered crane on a train. The people here at the museum rely, well they're brilliant, but they rely on donations. So please people come down, check out the place, learn a bit about some history, support the local history, because we don't want that to be lost. LNWR, what's that? Northwestern Railway. Loads of stuff. How old do you reckon that is? That is fantastic. 1908, is it? Carlisle, Carlisle, where you were yesterday? Well, the day before yesterday. Uh, and maybe technically yesterday. yesterday I was coming back through it, but yeah. yeah nice town car, though. A week on Saturday, they're having the railways out, the little railways. Here's the track. Mate, when I was a kid, there was one like this at Ruskin Drive. And we used to just spend hours walking around it. I wonder if we could still do it. We used to literally stand on it like this and just walk along. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, things you do when you're kids. Oh. So Fred Dibner's homemade mine shaft thing <laughs> Egg gear. it is funny that the first thing i said when i got out my car with my cap on was Fred did that. <laughs> the lady also explained that there used to be two headgears and two engine houses these are boilers and a load of these did you say 16 boilers 16 but they're not all here there were 16 of these boilers on the site but when it was shut down in the 70s they just got rid of a load of stuff to the lever just to go. Mate, it looks like a Trabant. <laughs> Welcome to this week's Scrappy <laughs> Challenge. Oh, we could do so much with this. Because, dude, that is mad. Steps you can go up. Oh, yes, we'll do that. Look at that. That is all that will protect you from the mine walls. Yeah. And here's a big witch's cauldron. 
Well, this is very near where you were. It is. I was literally at the other side of that fence. 20 metres away. But well, look at these steps and that view at the top. Ah, oh, this is better. Little horse pulling a national coal board thing. Oh, I, no, no, no. It means the horse has got no claims bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my way. Fire pump. Oh. Pilkingtons. St. Helens. Yeah. Oh. Let's have a little look what's in here in the mine of information. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I think this is fantastic that they built all this. None of this was here back in. Whenever, 2006, when I used to come here. Look at the models here. Oh, James would love this. He's missing out. Walkden Yard. Absolutely brilliant. People, please come down, donate to the museum. This isn't a sponsored video, it's just... Get it done. Model train. Oh. I told you you'd love all it. Trucks. <laughs> all trucks. Oh, hey, but it's all local, all local. to here. Tilsley, Atherton. Yeah. yeah. Even Ashley Green called you there. And look at this. Walked in yard. Wait, we've had a bit of a derailment here. Look, it's spilling its coal everywhere. <laughs> that looks like a Stania. That's like, very rusty, that one. <laughs> how was the fun with this if I had set it up? Well, oh. I, knew, I know how, but if it was connected. Me and James are just saying we'd love something like this in our houses. Ah, voila. Look, you can tell all the places it's been to. Bolton Model Railway Show, Wigan. Mm. Check this out, people. This coal was recovered from the wreck of the Titanic. Crazy. Earlier on, I was showing you the old telephones. Now, these are something I don't remember, but my mum does, and my nan and granddad will. You'd have these by your fireplace in your home, and you'd keep your coal in them. <laughs> this is German. When I lived in Germany, they'd always say Glück auf. Now, just before you go up, have a look. Because they are quite oh, steep. Okay. Cool. You've got your fire going and everything. This is just like a proper old house, isn't it? <laughs> Fantastic. Let's have a look around in there. Is that a real cat? No. <laughs> I had a chat with one day a couple of years ago and the lady came in with an umbrella. Is that real food? <laughs> yeah, you can have a take if you want. Oh, no, no. No, it's not. <laughs> it's telling lies. <laughs> no. Let's have a look at these I steps. Jeez, they are steep. They're like... <laughs> Whoa, this is amazing. Mate, it's like a proper, proper old house, proper old bedroom. Those steps would never pass health and safety these days. No. Yeah. No. Right. You know what? My nan and granddad still have one of these. Yeah. You'd fill this with hot coals, put it in your bed and warm up your bed with it. A little rocking chair in the corner. This is brilliant. Oh, my mate was just oh where's he gone? I wanted to get James yeah, falling down the, the steps. Is that real? I remember coming down some steps in Holland and falling <laughs> pretty much the whole flight. And they've got stairs much steeper than that. Check these out, people. In the field opposite where I grew up, I found one of them once. Over the road from where I lived was a colliery. That would have been for your ink. James is getting dressed up. What are you meant to be? A butcher? <laughs> I don't know. No, okay. <laughs> Absolutely quality. <laughs> oh, right. There he is. He's mending the clothes. Go on, get tapping him. <laughs> Fantastic. James, welcome back to the Victorian era. Some say I never got out of it. There he is, he's having his pipe. Do you want me to go get your slippers as well? Do you want me to bring the pussy cat in and sit here on your knee? slippers then. My God, lad. Fantastic. Fantastic. Look at that bit. Oh, mate. I'm putting them backwards or forwards. Oh, well, would you do things like that? Mm -hmm. yeah, put your apron on. Right. Put your slip them on. 
Oh, you look. Come on in. Come on in. You look very authentic. Come on round. Sat here with me moggy, having a straw. You look like Welsh now. Scarf on. It was a summer's day. You didn't need the scarf. They always had scarf on. I know they did. Regardless of whether it was three or thirty degrees out, you had to scarf on. Was it never rained back then? Have a look. Hey, this is the life. Have you got any beer? <laughs> well, she has well. Here I am with my mug. Cheers, fella. Cheers. Cheers. to the pits. Cheers, Fred. I'm trusting my judgment this with this life. camera. This is the life. I could have lived like this, couldn't you? <laughs> no. I'd be typewriter in the corner. No. We're just going off to I sign the visitor's book, but didn't have many absolutely fantastic day out. Well, a couple of hours, but yeah. Please come and visit. Please donate. Please like the video, and I'll see you again. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.